Spacecraft development is a risky and sometimes explosive business. SpaceX's Starship is an example of that. The fully reusable launch system for eventual Moon and Mars trips is no stranger to explosions, ruptures, and failed landings. Many of these failures happened, therefore simply because Starship is a new system trying to do unusual things. All the same, the footage is clear example of some of the challenges of spacecraft development. SpaceX's SN1 prototype burst apart during a pressure test on February 28, 2020 at its launch pad near Boca Chica, Texas. At the time, the prototype was undergoing a liquid nitrogen pressure test. The midsection of the prototype buckled, then shot upward before smashing into the ground. Musk appeared to take the failure in stride and to be thinking ahead about strengthening SN2. SpaceX's next prototype, Starship SN4, had a fiery explosion on May 29, 2020 very soon after a rocket engine test. The dramatic failure happened only a minute after a short test of its Raptor rocket engine, but immediately after the explosion it was unclear what caused the conflagration. Just like with past explosions, Musk kept saying the company keeps learning from each test and forging ahead. That said, the Starship SN4 was by far the longest lived and most tested Starship prototype at that time. SN4 survived five static fire engine tests before exploding. After the loss of Starship SN4, SpaceX developed the SN5 and SN6 prototypes before moving on to SN7, which the company intentionally pushed to failure. The Starship SN7 prototype tank ruptured during a pressure test on June 23, 2020, but this one was a planned failure. SN7 had finished another pressure test just a week before, resulting in a leak. The second test was far more showy given the planned explosion. The first test of the SN7 Starship tank, which leaked but did not explode, was a promising sign for the program's development, Musk said in comments on June 15, 2020. The company is shifting from 301 stainless steel to 304L, he added. The SN8 prototype made a dramatic flight on December 9, 2020, successfully hitting several milestones before failing to stick the landing and erupting in a fireball. The prototype launched to an altitude of about 7.8 miles using its three Raptor engines. At peak altitude, the rocket shut down its engines and performed a belly flop for a glide to the launch pad. After firing its engines once more before touchdown to attempt an upright landing, though, the rocket landed too fast due to lower than expected fuel tank header pressure. Musk was pleased with the progress. SN8 did great. Musk wrote on Twitter on December 9th. Even reaching Apogee would have been great, so controlling all the way to putting the crater in the right spot was epic.
SpaceX's Starship SN9 managed to climb even higher than SN8 on February 2, 2021 before experiencing its own fiery explosion upon landing. It reached its target altitude of about 6.2 miles and did a complex horizontal flip to simulate re-entry to Earth's atmosphere. But it hit the landing site too hard after 6.5 minutes of flight, resulting in a catastrophic end. Again, we've just got to work on that landing a little bit, SpaceX principal integration engineer John and Sprucker said during SpaceX's launch webcast. We got a lot of good data, and the primary objective, to demonstrate control of the vehicle in the subsonic re-entry, looked to be very good, and we will take a lot out of that, he added. seconds into flight we're down beneath one and a half kilometers we're preparing to restart two engines flip the vehicle vertical and transition to one engine for the landing burn Doing one better over its predecessor SN9, the prototype Starship SN10 soared to its planned altitude of 6.2 miles on March 7, 2021, did the horizontal re-entry flip practice, and came back to the ground for a smooth touchdown. Unfortunately, some flames were visible near SN10's base shortly after landing and the vehicle soon exploded on the launch pad. Musk later said on Twitter that the spacecraft came in a little too fast for the landing, due to low thrust likely caused by an issue in the fuel header tank. The hard landing crushed the legs of the landing system, along with part of the engine skirt. The resulting damage led to the explosion a few minutes later.
On March 30, 2021, SpaceX's Starship SN11 lifted off in thick fog only to meet a similar fate of its SN10 predecessor. Like SN10, Starship SN11 flew to an altitude of 6.2 miles and then returned to Earth for a landing attempt. Six minutes into the flight, its onboard cameras cut out. Apparently, it exploded above the landing pad before making it back to Earth. Looks like we've had another exciting test of Starship number 11, John and Sprucker, launch commentator for SpaceX, said during the broadcast. Starship 11 is not coming back. Do not wait for the landing. Elon Musk later wrote that engine two of the three Raptor engines on Starship SN11 experienced problems during ascent that only got worse when it reignited for the landing burn. Something significant happened shortly after landing burn start. Should know what it was once we can examine the bits later today, Musk wrote at the time on Twitter. After the failure of Starship SN11, SpaceX stood down from launches for a time as it worked through several more iterations.
On May 5, 2021, SpaceX made a Starship triumph when its Starship SN15 prototype launched and landed safely and didn't explode afterwards. The test flight, which occurred on the 60th anniversary of the launch of Alan Shepard, the first American in space, showed off all the lessons SpaceX had learned to that point while developing Starship. SN15 has vehicle improvements across structures, avionics and software, and the engines that will allow more speed and efficiency throughout production and flight, specifically, a new enhanced avionics suite, updated propellant architecture in the aft skirt, and a new Raptor engine design and configuration, SpaceX representatives wrote in a description of the flight. Seconds, SpaceX has since moved on to more airplane, Starship prototypes and, and its booster, the Super Heavy, as it aims for a potential orbital flight. Altitude. In August 2021, SpaceX stacked its Starship SN20 atop a Super Heavy for the first time, making the world's tallest rocket. Just past one minute into flight, we're through two kilometers altitude. All three Raptor engines continuing to burn. Next major event in about one minute is we will turn off the first of the three Raptor engines. up at T plus two minutes, uh, we appear to have uh, frozen the view from the engine cameras. However, the Raptor engines continue to perform and we've got shutdown on engine three on time.
50 plus 2 minutes 40 seconds while we're trying to regain video from the vehicle. We continue to ascend. We've just passed the 8 kilometer point in flight. Everything continues to look good on Starship 15. up on three and a half minutes into flight. We're approaching the 10 kilometer altitude. We'll begin to hover here. We've had engine number two shut down on time. We'll now be moving into the hover with one engine. And then in a little bit, we will begin the flip over to horizontal position and begin our descent. But hopefully a ground camera will be able to bring us live views of the flight. T plus four minutes into flight. We've got the views back from the Raptor engines. T plus four minute 34 seconds. While we are working to regain video, looks like we've got a shot looking back at the flaps on Starship. We're in the horizontal descent descent phase now. We're passing six kilometers. A reminder, phase that's coming up as we get ready for landing, we will light three Raptor engines, flip the vehicle from horizontal to vertical. If things look good, we will shut down one Raptor engine and then possibly a second one and land on a single engine in the landing zone. Five minutes into flight, Raptor continuing to descend. We're coming up on three kilometers altitude. Ignition. Starship heading back to the lander zone. Starbase flight control is confirmed. As you can see on the live video, we are down. The Starship has landed. We're going through the safing sequence in the flight computer right now. We'll be back in a moment. Well, if you've just joined us, you missed a great flight. Right now, we have successfully landed in the landing zone, right on the concrete. You can see we do have a small fire at the base of the vehicle. Not unusual with the methane fuel that we're carrying as we continue to work on the test vehicle design. You may be able to see uh, water going on the pad from the water cannons. But again, 
Starship 15, powered by three Raptor engines, we have successfully launched it from our facility in South Texas, landed after a routine flight where we shut engines down on the way to 10 kilometers, executed the horizontal unpowered descent, and then we got some great views of the engines lighting up as we came down for a landing at a nice slow velocity onto the concrete landing pad. The past two weeks have been full of accomplishments by the SpaceX team. We've had the incredible launch of the Crew 2 astronauts on the Crew Dragon Resilience. We've had the first nighttime landing and recovery of the four astronauts on Crew Dragon Endeavor's flight last Saturday night, and two successful flights of Falcon 9 in the past seven days, each carrying 60 Starlink satellites successfully into orbit. And now the SpaceX Texas team has flown a test flight of Starship with a landing back in the landing zone here at Starbase, Texas. I'd also like to remember this is the 60th anniversary of the first American in space, astronaut Alan Shepard and his Mercury capsule, and SpaceX has landed Starship successfully on this date. Again, an outstanding period as we work to enable the future of human spaceflight and expansion into the solar system. And with that, we're going to conclude today's webcast with the views here of Starship 15. Thank you for joining us here at SpaceX, and have a good day.